what up though detroit so you already know the deal uh, you know just giving a shout out to petty tupac tv like comment subscribe you already know the deal we have to support our everybody's businesses and you know you already know how it goes we support each other you know what i'm saying make detroit win What up, dog? Y'all already know how I go. Smash, like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you comment. As long as you comment, you dig. Press the like button. It's free. Help the video go up. The more I make, the more I drop. The more time I got to drop. So if you support me, hit the like button. Comment too, man. Uh, drop drop some videos y'all want to see. Some things y'all want to hear me speak on. Uh, need y'all start doing that again more and more often. Shout out to everybody, man. Every time I go to Walmart, boy, it's on. I, I, it's somebody recognize the work, man. So... It's only gonna get bigger and better from here. Um, real quick before I go clean up. Um Sanderson, we call him Chance, been in prison most of his life. He was in he's in prison for killing his girlfriend. And um he run with the A B. I'm not saying he Aryan Brotherhood, but he run with him. He denied uh being a member, but you, you just never know. That might be a strategic move. I have no clue, right? Because they outnumber. But Chance uh never brushed me as a person that was real scared of anybody. Police like him. They know you're a real convict. He he's not an inmate, he's a convict, right? Uh I was in a hole with him. We was at Berga. I seen him personally pretend like he was showing somebody a book and then slipped the, the thing up out of there and hit Doggy up because he was a sex offender and he got out the hole. Seven, eight months later, a dude got into a fight and stayed in the house six months. So you gotta think about it. Like when you were you when you were a chomo, you get no love and everybody gonna get a break for doing it to you. People was uh, you know, laughing about uh chance story about him killing this bunky. I guess he was in the room with him. And you know, you you and your bunky, you get comfortable and he get to telling about his case. So he he got a case against a child. He said, oh, he's been set up, and but I did this, I did that. And Chance like, hey, bro, just be quiet. Dude kept going on and on about, no, 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 bro, you got to listen to me, so on and so forth. Chance said, okay, got you. And he's so small, man, he only about 5'6", about 140 pounds. He knocked dude out, take dude's shoelaces off his shoes and strangle him. Then when they come ask him about him, he admit to he go he pack his bed up, he pack his bed roll up, all this stuff, so the police don't do it. Because when the police do it, they're trash it. They'll throw some stuff away, but not him because he he to to them he did a justice to society. Chance said he didn't want him going back out there into society because he was a monster. So anyway, this transpired. Dude, strangle him, pack his stuff up, jump in the bed, go to sleep like nothing happened tucked him in like he, w he was really putting him in the bed and um went to the hall over and got out before any of us got out for fights you know what i'm saying like he really got you know um check the story out it's gonna be at the end of this video bro check the story out it's crazy that's the joint for you so think before you start touching them little little babies just think because this guy's narrative to just don't like you for no reason and, and that, that's like his sole purpose in prison because he never getting out and what's crazy is once he made the news for that a bunch of white women started writing them all over the country all over the country beautiful women start writing them beautiful women i remember this one guy was uh talking crazy to chance because chance was a porter in the hall i mean he get to come out clean up and stuff get an extra tray go back in his room and sell get to have a tv faster than anybody so, so whatever so um chance went past something from him. he was talking crazy this young guy a dude uh a og was like hey young blood i'm about to holler at you in a second he waited the chance went back downstairs he like hey bro uh, that, that white boy you talking to don't think he no slouch at all that man to take your life in here and won't think twice about it he know he not going home he feel like he not going home he don't even file appeals no more he has nothing to be played with and I'm like damn then I come to learn the story once the uh, CO was talking about it about how he killed this bunkie I'm like you would think he was just a little pushover, somebody you just beat up, or he ain't gonna do nothing. You talk to him crazy. That man, a full blown psycho. 
You dig it? I'm talking about full blown psycho. But uh, check the video out. Peace, blessings be upon y'all. Be fine. Go ahead and tell us what happened. Now, I guess he decided to clear his conscience or something, but, you know, he told me what he was in prison for, that he had, you know, was accused of raping a, an 11-year-old girl, and he got 25 to life for it, and, you know, I told him that's enough. I don't want to hear any more. Um, I first, you know, punched him a couple times. Still wouldn't shut up. Still kept telling me he wanted to explain that he didn't do it, that he was being set up and all this stuff, and, I don't know, I just got mad and then hit him, and, and then I killed him. When I, knocked, I hit him and knocked him out, and then I took the shoelaces out of his shoes, tied them together, wrapped it around his neck, and strangled him. Then, um, after I was done, I mean, I was, I was aware of what I was doing, you know, and then I just put him on his bed and covered him up and climbed in my bed and went to sleep. Oh, and then I just put him on his bed and covered him up and climbed in my bed and went to sleep. I noticed, you know, we, obviously we've been in your cell. And with that, it appears that all of your belongings, you packed up. Yeah, okay. well, when did you do that? Mm. Right after I knew he was dead. Right after you knew. So. And the reason for doing that would be... Because when you go to the hole, that's usually what the police do to pack it up. And I figured, yeah, they're going to tear my shit up, so okay. let me just do it myself. Okay. So, so what happened to the shoelaces? Flushed them down the toilet. Okay. Now, those laces came out of Ted's shoes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then when you were done, you flushed it down the toilet. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Why would you do that? Because I'm an idiot. I don't know. Just, I mean, you know, obviously I don't think right. I'm a, in prison for most of my life, so my thinking isn't really rational. <clears throat> I don't know. I just kind of... Thought that that was the perfect thing to do at that time? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I just... You know, I know murdering somebody's not a good thing, but... I mean, Jesus, man, if, yeah. if the things this guy did, he, things he said he did, yeah. I wouldn't want someone like that on the street again. So, I, 